You've seen these buttons everywhere, but what's actually happening behind that click? These look identical, right? But connect to Google Drive, that's OAuth, just giving access. Sign in with Google, that's OpenID Connect, proving who you are. Totally different problems, let's fix this confusion once and for all. So where'd we leave off? Right, part one, we talked about some key concepts for building our own off, basic sessions and JWTs. Part two, that was OAuth. And remember, that's about letting apps access your stuff, not proving who you are. Today, we're solving that identity problem, plus some enterprise SSO magic. Here's where things get messy. Most developers think user logs into Google, Google gives a token, token means the user is verified. Seems logical, right? Watch this attack unfold. Step one, attacker builds their own app, gets Bob to authorize it. Now they have a completely valid Google Access token for Bob's account. That token 100% legitimate. Step two, the attacker takes that same token to your app. Your app checks with Google, is this token valid? Google says yes. Your app thinks valid token equals Bob? Nope, the attacker just became Bob in your system. Here's the thing. OAuth access tokens answer one question. Can I access this resource? They don't tell you who the person is. They definitely don't tell you if they're logging into your app specifically. It's like using your Netflix password as a government ID. Sure, it proves you have Netflix. Doesn't prove you're you. In stolen tokens, even worse. Hacker grabs one token, maybe from a leaked log file, maybe from an XSS attack. That token is still valid. No audience restriction means it works everywhere. One theft, total compromise. Sounds scary? It should. But hold on, there's a better way. What if tokens could actually prove identity, lock themselves to your specific app, carry actual user information? Enter OpenID Connect. So what's OpenID Connect actually do? Simple, it adds one thing to OAuth, an ID token. That's it. But that one addition changes everything. Peek inside an ID token and you'll see something beautiful. Real user information, who they are, their email, their name. But notice that odd field? That's your app's ID. This token works for your app only. Let me show you something cool. We are on jwt.io. This is where you can decode any JWT. Watch what happens when we paste a real Google ID token, real user data, not just this token is valid, but actually who this person is. See this audience field? Every ID token is locked to a specific app. If someone tries to use a token meant for another app, rejected. This one check stops token reuse attacks dead. Think of it like this. An access token is a key to someone's Google Drive. An ID token, that's an ID card that says, this is Bob and he's specifically entering your building. Both valid, completely different jobs. Here's an analogy that actually makes sense. Think of ID tokens like concert wristbands. The odd claim, that's checking the band says, awesome 2025, not random festival 2023. Same wristband style, totally different event, Show up with the wrong one, you're not getting in. The whole flow, dead simple. User clicks sign in, your app asks for the open ID scope. That's the magic word that tells Google, I need identity, not just access. User approves, Google sends back an ID token. You verify that audience claim, you know exactly who this is. The code difference, one word. See that open ID in the scope, that's it. That tells the provider you want identity verification not just data access. You know that feeling when you start a new job and IT hands you 15 different logins? Email, Slack, Jira, SharePoint. By login number five, you're writing passwords on sticky notes, security teams having nightmares. There's got to be a better way, right? Enter SSO, single sign-on. One login, boom. Email, Slack, Jira, everything. It's like trading a janitor's key ring for a master key. And here's the beautiful part. Your company has one identity provider, maybe Okta, maybe Azure AD. You log in there once in the morning. That provider tells every other app, yeah, this is Bob, he's good. No more passwords, no more sticky notes, just access. 
Watch this magic. You're in your email, open a new tab, go to Slack, and you're in. No login, no password, nothing. That little moment of, wait, I didn't log in, that's SSO doing its thing. Behind the scenes, it's a beautiful redirect dance. You hit Slack, Slack checks for a token, nothing there, redirects you to Okta, Okta remembers you from this morning. Okta tells Slack, yeah, that's Bob, Slack lets you in. All of this, under a second, you barely see it happen. Quick note, SSO comes in two flavors, SAML for the enterprises stuck in 2010, OpenID Connect for everyone else. Both work, both are secure, but if you're starting fresh, OIDC all the way. Security teams love this. Why? One password means you can make it actually strong. Employee quits, one click disables everything. No hunting through 50 systems. Add MFA once, protect everything. And those sticky notes, gone. Finally. But wait, SSO solves logging in. What about when people leave? Bob quits. Now you've got to revoke his access in Slack, Jira, GitHub, AWS, 50 different systems. Manual process, time-consuming, error-prone, and those orphaned accounts, major security risk. Enter Skim, a REST API standard that syncs user data from your identity provider to every app. Deactivate Bob and Okta, Skim tells every connected app to revoke his access. New hire, automatically provisioned everywhere. Role change, permissions update across all systems. SSO handles login, Skim handles the user lifecycle. That's the full enterprise picture. Want to implement this? Building B2B SaaS, enterprises expect SSO. Non-negotiable. Support Okta, Azure AD, maybe SAML for the stragglers. Consumer app? Social login is your SSO. Google, GitHub, Apple. Pick your providers and go. Quick reality check on what not to do. Never accept just any valid token. Never skip the audience check. Don't store tokens in local storage. And that email claim? Check if it's verified. Miss any of these? You might be tomorrow's breach headline. Look, authentication is hard, but you just learned what most developers figure out the hard way, after a breach. You know OAuth isn't authentication. You know OpenID Connect adds identity. You know that odd claim is critical. And you understand how SSO and Skim work together to solve enterprise auth from login to lifecycle. And that's a wrap on the authentication series. Three parts, from building your own auth, to OAuth for access, and to OpenID Connect for identity. The theory, you've got it. But you know what might be interesting? Actually building this, a real project walkthrough, full auth flow, actual implementation, step by step. If that sounds like something you'd wanna see, let me know in comments. Thanks for watching.